Nyola Badmos TV. Entertainment without bang. Just like that. Ah! <laughs> I'm Raz! I'm Raz! I'm trying to speak good English, but nonsense is coming out of my mouth. I sleep no more, I sleep. As I wake up, <laughs> I've done the mumu. He gets one powerful man of God. Yes, he carry power. Ah! Ah! This thing with the G in a pure jazz. Now, Juju. Ah, my customer. Eh? My God! My stick is back. It has returned it. I am an angel, bro. What self respecting angel talks like this? Going around using words whose meaning I don't even know. Yes, we are back again with another bang on Aniola Badmos TV. Guess what? We are the premiere of the movie, The Last Guy. And yes, this is one comedy movie that you definitely do not want to miss when it finally hits the cinema on the 19th of March because it has some of your favorite comedians on it, like Brother Shaggy, La Sisi Eleno, Frank Donga. It also has the ever gorgeous Nancy Sime, Yemi Sholade, Noba Young, and a lot of other fantastic actors on this one guess what it's coming to the screens very soon but we're about to watch it first and and talk to some of the people who would come out on the red carpet tonight for the premiere of this movie this is in love at most tv my name is elisha mayor and i'm so excited to be on another red carpet to bring you the fun the gist and of course the lovely stuff happening the good looks here anyways because you see you see i'm always repping let's go talk to people on this red carpet. beautiful to watch her play the cool beautiful gentle you know babe in the movie you killed this one again coming from kambili now we're here to the ras guy, uh, ras guy. how do you feel I feel really good i mean it looks really good um I, I loved it i loved it i probably even enjoyed other people's performance and i enjoyed mine so i really 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 liked it i think it was it, it stayed true to the name of the film and I know that you did a lot promoting the movie. I saw it on social media for the first time on your page. Oh, right. And I saw all the craziness you and La Sisi pulled for this one. How is it working with him? Um, I mean, La Sisi is such a funny guy. And he's just a pleasure to work with. So I honestly enjoyed working with him. Definitely. It was, we were laughing all the time. All the time. So I had a great time. And now that people are reacting to this in a positive way, thinking about everything you went through, making this movie with these guys, do you think is worth it oh for sure funny enough i didn't even go through any stress making the film with them it's like so cool I, I always say i love working with trino studios they just absolutely get it and i had a lot of fun like it was very chilled so having to go from a chilled set to now seeing the final products and it's so good it's just it's so rewarding so what do you think people will take out of this if they come to the cinema from the 19th honestly just gonna laugh you know it's not that serious i don't think it's something that has any like moral lessons you get me it's just it's just fun it's a lot of fun thank you so much for talking thank you so much thank you Superstar Frank Donga, definitely one of my favorite comedian and actor. You out here, you've seen your movie, you've seen your work. How do you feel? Excited, excited, um, ec ecstatic. It's, uh, it's a beautiful production. Shout out to Trino Studios, uh, Studio, Trino Motion Pictures. Every single cast, every single crew member. I'm so pleased. I'm a very critical person when it comes to works of art but I think this ah uh, thank you everybody you guys need to see what I'm talking about right before they come to say right tell us a bit about your character in the movie so my character is the nemesis of Timmy Timmy is the lead actor Timmy is a very um, perfectionistic 
saying that, I always feel like he's going to jump out of the camera and slap me and say, run the expression, you know. But, but I was his nemesis. I was the one who completed the curse coming on him to teach him a lesson. Right. So who's your favorite character in the movie? Without a doubt, Butchie's character. The Iberio. The, 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 the Iberio guy. You know, I mean, how do you say? How many times do you say an Iberio with a Butchie's right. I walked in at that moment, and I think it was really interesting to see Butchie in that form and light. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. I didn't, uh, hands down. Okay. okay, now we have to tell people why they need to come see it on the 19th. You guys need to be here on the 19th. After the 19th, take your friends and family to go see the Raz guy. You're going to learn. See, it's not just the laughter. You're going to learn loads of stuff, loads of lessons. Pure humor, intelligent humor, good acting, good pacing of the story. Trust me, take this from me. It's going to be worth your money, worth your time. Tell somebody to tell somebody, the Raz guy in cinemas from the 19th of March 2021. I sleep no man, I sleep. As I wake up, I'm done the mumu. He gets one powerful man of God. Yes, he carry power. Ah, eh. This thing really give you a pure jazz. Now Juju. Ah, my customer. Eh, my God. My feet is back. It has returned it. I am an angel, bro. What self-respecting Abriel talks like this? Going around using words whose meaning I don't. La Cici is out here, the man of the moment is first movie and is getting all the love and positivity. Mm. How are you doing? My sister, I'm okay. I'm fine. Thank you very You're much. You're supposed to be the Raz Ganty, looking all that back in the day. Well, um, that's the irony. I have to look good. Uh, but I'm, I'm super excited to be here. Yeah. <laughs> This has definitely been a, an, an interesting journey for you. I mean, making up the movie up until this point. When you woke up this morning, what was running through your mind? Like, will people accept it well or not? Mm, yeah, um, I had that worry. And um, I think as a creative, you are caught in that line where you're not sure how people would accept the things you put out there. Um, uh, it, it's, it's logical. From the videos I create, uh, there are some I have doubts about. But I think it's just left for people to now decide if they like it. So yes, that um, thought definitely crossed my mind. Um, but then I was like, well, I did my best. It couldn't have been better than that. And um, it was left to just the people to decide if they would like it or not. And I'm happy they did. I'm happy too. But again, right, it's your first movie. And a little bit told me that there were quite a number of people that auditioned for this role. When you got the role after going through the scripts, how did you feel? Yeah. It's actually not my first film, but it's actually my first film as a lead. Mm. So yeah, um, when I got the script, um, it was quite a, a while. It was quite a, a struggle, you know. But um, I think they were really convinced that I would um, be able to put it off, um, considering that I was able to, you know, play multiple um, characters and personalities. So yes, um, yeah. So apart from yourself, who's your favorite character in the movie? Oh, trust me, the Egg Bearer. The Egg Bearer was, was key. <laughs> Butchie Franklin, he's a great actor, mm. a wonderful. He delivers so good. And um, yeah, he was an awesome person. Was this planned? Because I spoke to Butchie earlier and it was written for you. And here you are written for Butchie. Yeah, no plan. <laughs> if that's a good, he's good. According to a big end, if you are good, you are good, I beg. So. Now, with all the positivity coming out from the screening of the movie, it's coming out on the 19th of yeah. March. How would you tell people to come see this movie? Go watch The Raz Guy. It's a great film. has lots of humor in it. And I'm trust, trust me, you're going to learn a thing or two. Um, yes, just go watch The Raz Guy. I have with me here Butchie Franklin, who I think is an amazing actor, by the way. How are you doing? Oh, you're not gassing me, are you? I am not. Okay, fine. Thank you very much. How are you doing tonight? I'm great. I'm great. I'm excited. And you are on a movie that is totally different from what I've seen in a while. A comedy movie. You're always the action guy. What's with the switch? My dear, let's make them laugh. I hear Fio is 212 naira right now. And uh, somebody's being a bad boy. I don't know who. So we decided to make our brothers and sisters come out and enjoy good comedy. You know, and La Cici did an amazing job. I'm not, I'm, I kid you not, we all know Brother Shaggy is always on point, but this is Lassisi's first film. Should, you should see it, he did good. Like, I'm here for Lassisi. Like, 
for Luka Uweka, the director, Trini Productions. These guys are very meticulous with the kind of films they churn out. You know, so I'm just here to chill. I know you are. You saw the movie firsthand during production, right? And you probably know some of the words that will make us giggle tonight. So tell me some of those blunders Lassisi made in the movie. The fact that Lassisi was on this project is a, is a beautiful blunder to me, like an artistic blunder, and I love it. I love it. Like I, I, I can't wait to do new projects with him. I don't want to share anything because I expect that you will go to a cinema near you and experience Razga. <laughs> so they are coming to see it on the 19th of March. Tell them one thing they will go our own ways when they are done in the cinema. Oh, we're going to be chilled, we're going to be happy, we're going to laugh throughout. It's a fun film. It's it's mommy, daddy, pastor, imam, native doctor. Bring everybody out. Yeah. Okay, so should we expect you to be in more comedy movies? Well, I, I love comedy. You know, I love comedy. I think it's the hardest form of art, honestly. You know, I respect comedians a lot because people think comedy is, oh, I come and make a fool of myself and make you laugh. No. There are different forms of comedy, and comedy is really difficult. It's easy to make you cry, you know, but it's difficult to make Nigerians laugh. I like that you are specific Nigerians. Thank you so much for talking to us. Have fun tonight. Comes out looking this rocky, you can tell that it's about to be lit. I love what you're wearing. How are you doing? Thank you, thank you. I'm fine. I'm rise. I'm looking rise. I'm cool. I'm happy. Yeah. And I love it. How did you put this together? What uh, my my costume, you know, guy yeah. actually put this together sometimes for me. So I just said, I want to look. I want to look rise. I said, okay, I'll make you look rise. And I love it. From the sneakers to the jeans to the jacket, everything really worked for you. How does it feel coming out to see this movie firsthand? How does it feel coming out to see this movie firsthand? Well, I'm so excited because I was invited with uh, a box filled of uh, so many important things inside. So from that particular time, it was yeah. I must have to go out and watch this movie because the packaging, only the packaging actually actually makes me smell something good. So and then I now look at the promos and see the kind of caliber of comedians in there and say, okay, right. All these are my people, so we should go and get Raz. Right. It's been a while we saw a comedy of this type and you are in the comedy industry too. What are your expectations for the movie? I'm expecting a lot of, you know, fun. I, I, that's why I say I'm here to catch fun too. So I'm looking at a lot of, you know, and um, creative stupidity. You understand? Yeah, because uh, we, we, we the comedians, people see us as uh, mad people. But yes, we are mad in a creative way. So at the end of the day, you are not going off laughing, doing all sorts of things. But then if you are sensitive enough, you'll be able to pick one or two messages. And that makes it what it is today. So tell me, some of your brothers that you are out to celebrate tonight. You say? Some of your brothers and or sisters in the industry that you are out to celebrate tonight. Oh, some of my brothers and sisters that I'm going to celebrate tonight. Oh, okay, I'm celebrating almost almost all of them because I love each and everybody. Because we are partners, we are colleagues. So I don't want to mention one name and leave the other. So I actually love all the industry players. <laughs> so let's say a shout out for those who will be coming to see this movie on the uh, 19th of March. That's when it's eating the cinema. Okay. So you're going to do a shout out for them in advance and tell them why they should come see the Alright guys, as a matter of fact, this movie is going to be in cinema on the 19th of March. So, I mean, see me, I'm looking Raz, you have to look Raz because this movie is Raz and being Raz means being an important human being. And at the end of the day, the stress in this country alone can take you to the next level. So watching this film will actually make a lot of, I mean, to give you tonic that is going to kill hypertension, high blood pressure, and so many. You don't need to go to hospital. So come and catch fun on the night team by watching Raz Guy in cinemas across Nigeria. Happy. I sleep no man, sleep. As I wake up, I've done the mumu. He gets one powerful man of God. Yes, he carry power. Ah, eh. This thing will give you in a pure jazz. Now, Juju. Ah, my customer. Eh, my God. My stick is back. It has returned. No. I am a. 
What self-respecting eight-year-old talks like this? Going around using words whose meaning I don't know. Today is a Margin Sunday. We're celebrating mothers, women, and yes, I have one of such women here today who has come out to celebrate and support a husband, and that's such a remarkable thing to do. <laughs> Gloria Young is our chair, coming out to celebrate uh, Nobat Young, who is on this movie, The Ras Guy. How are you doing tonight, Ma? I'm very fine, thank you. How are you? Very well, too. It's Margin Day, a Margin Sunday. How do you feel being a woman and mother today? I feel great. I've been celebrated everywhere, you know. I'm being celebrated over and over again. Everyone is calling, everyone is reaching out to me. Unfortunately, my babies are in school, so well. <laughs> it's so good, but you are to support your husband who is in the movie we're premiering tonight. How does that make you feel knowing that you can come out to support him like this? Well, we support each other. We're used to it. 18 years, so hey. <laughs> 18 years, interesting. And now it's in, it's in this movie. I'm sure you're anticipating the movie. You, you, yeah. Do you know about his character in the movie? I have no idea. So you're about to see just like everyone here. Uh -huh, uh -huh. If I were to ask you your favorite character in advance, who would that be? Him, who else? <laughs> I love the sound of that. Thank you for talking to us. Thank you. right here one of Nollywood's finest and of course is in this movie The Last Guy and we're all out to hear what he has to say about the movie. The very very awesome Nobat Young. How are you doing today sir? I'm good. How are you doing? Very well. And how does, how does it feel stepping out in the company of your wife? Because I did talk to her earlier on and we were talking... How is that supposed to feel? How is that supposed to feel? I mean, it's Mother's Day. No nothing. Well, there's nothing special about it. Right. You're expected to do it and you do it. So right. There's nothing, nothing to it. And she said it's, it's been like that for 18 years and she was so proud talking to us about it. I wonder why you should ask me that kind of question, really. <laughs> I mean, on a day like this, it's special for women, and having them go out to support their husband must feel extra special. Well, okay, maybe because today is Mother's Day, right? Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> All right, let's talk about the movie. You're coming out to see something that you worked on. How was the journey working on this movie? It was good. It was nice, uh, especially working with a director that I trust. And uh, my fellow actors, you know, it was good, it was nice on set working with them. Yeah. And you worked with some very young actors. We have uh, Burashagi, we had La Cecilia Leno, Nancy Sime. Looking at what you used to have back in the day. Well, new generation, <laughs> right? But I then compared to yourself. I understand, but they are, they are strong hands too. They are all strong hands, yeah. Very well then. So tell us a bit about your character. I play the father of a father, uh, Nancy's father. Yeah, a good father, you must understand. Yeah, <laughs> I like the pride in it. It's coming to the cinema on the 19th of March. How what will you tell people to make them come see the movie? If you want to learn about life, how to live your life in moderation, and how to be cautious in your everyday life. If you want those, then you must come and see the movie. Right. Thank you so much for talking to us. Sir. You're welcome. Guy. And she's looking really gorgeous. I love the touch of red. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Who styled you and what was on your mind when you chose this outfit? Styled myself. Alright, so what, what came to mind when you chose this? I wanted to stand out, I guess. <laughs> and you did stand out. How are you doing tonight? I'm fine, thank you. How does it feel coming out for the promo of the movie you are on? I mean, I'm happy. It's my first time on the big screen. Everything I've ever done is for TV and for the internet. So this is going to be my first time on the big screen and I'm happy about that. Right. Right. And you worked with quite a number of people on this movie. I mean, there's Brother Shaggy, there's La Sisi, Yemi, Shorade, Nova Young, right? And Nancy. How did it feel working with some of those people? Can I not answer that question? I mean, how did it feel working with them? With them? Oh, okay. Um, it was amazing. Bundle of talent. Every 
single one of them. Everyone was on their A game, so it made the work pretty seamless. Talk about your character on the movie. My character is an intern to the boss, and I have to like do lots of reports to the boss, and I have to face his work. That's so now, this is the beginning of a lot of things to come for you. Tell me, what are the other things we should be expecting from you this year? More movies, more things, hopefully. All right, so let's sell the movie to everyone who will come to the cinema from the 19th. Sorry? Let's sell the movie to people that will come out to watch it from the, in the cinema from the 19th. Okay. Um, you guys should just come out. It's really funny. If you're, I mean, there's so much chaos going on in the world right now. We all need, we all need a little humor, but this isn't even a little humor. So just come out, watch it. It's going to be worth it, I promise you. All right, have fun tonight. All right, thank you. Bye. Tata is on the red carpet bowling Lomo himself. It's like, if I don't come to meet you, my red carpet isn't done. You know, right? How are you doing today? I'm great, thank you very much. How are you? Fine too. And we're out to see yet another movie, knowing that Nollywood is pumping out back to back since the pandemic re reduced, sort of, right? How does that make you feel? I don't think it's just a Nollywood thing. I think it's a wealth thing. I think like everybody's starting to pull like a lot of movies. I think 20, 2021 has been a great year for movies. So, and I think it will ride all the way to the end. And you are to support Nollywood and some of your friends on this movie. We had quite a number of people in the one and I'm feeling like a comedy which I know that is your kind of thing too right do you think this movie will meet our expectations uh, well I, I'm yet to find out I think that the script was very was nice because like I said I auditioned for this role I got sent the script and it's, it's interesting to see them flesh it out now and I don't think there's anybody that could have played it better than last you see because that's like his persona so I want to see how they flesh out the story into something more more solid so what happened between the audition stage and the final part where you had to be in the movie? Like I said, I don't think there's anybody that could have played it better. So I'm guessing they went with the better person, I guess. That's such a humble thing to say. I'm really impressed. So now that you're going to see the movie, right? I know that you probably have some, you know, favorite characters since you were, you were privy to the script. So who is going to be your favorite character or who are your favorite characters in the movie? Well, I read for La Sisi's role and I read for Shaggy's role. So is it either both of them. So I'm going to look out for that. And if, don't, if they don't turn out to be my character, eh, I'm coming for you. <laughs> so let's sell the movie. You know, it's coming out on the 19th. So help them market the movie. Um, well, guys, definitely go watch The Rasga, the movie. I'm about to see it myself. And I'm sure it'll be a great watch. Great cast, great director, amazing production team. They have like some really strong movies. So I think it'll be a great watch. enjoyed seeing all these amazing folks that I talked to on this red carpet and I'm about to show you something else right just wait for it wait for it yeah this is me filling the last to see shoes but it's almost impossible to do so definitely not possible you have to come out to see what it did in this movie you will definitely laugh we need all the laughter we can get in Nigeria right now so hey why not 19th of March is the date make sure you come out with your family and friends and of course make sure you also like and subscribe to Enyola Badmos TV for more of this kind of fun event. Again, my name is Elisha Moyo Sorelu. I'll see you guys in another one. Just like that. <laughs> I'm right. I'm right. I'm trying to speak good English, but nonsense is coming out of my mouth. I sleep no more. I sleep as I wake up. I'm done the mumu. He get one powerful man of God. Yes, he carry power. Ah, eh. This thing really give me a pure jazz. Now, Juju. Ah, my customer. Eh, my God. My feet is back. It has returned it. I am an angel, bro. What self-respecting angel talks like this? Going around using words whose meaning I don't even know.